Hey all, I have my tutorial here for installing Actions. This tutorial covers uh, versions 3 through 7, but in this video I'm just going to be highlighting installing Actions in version 7 in Vista, but the instructions for both XP and Vista and similar in Mac are all here in this tutorial and you can find the uh, instructions for your version here. The first important thing that you need to do is to make the invisible folders visible. Windows has set some uh, important folders so that the normal user cannot see them because they're important folders that if you accidentally uh, do something within them uh, if you don't have knowledge you could really mess things up so they've made them invisible and to install those actions we have to be able to get into those invisible files and so for Vista as shown here in my tutorial and I'm just going to go straight to a folder if you go under the Tools drop-down menu and choose Folder Options, now if you don't have your Vista set so you can see these old paths up here, you can also find this down here under Organize and Folder and Search Options. And you'll bring up this Folder Options pop-up box. Click on the View tab and you'll see right here Hidden Files and Folders. Make sure that you tick this second selection show hidden files and folders and then you can click apply to all folders if you want and um, this will show all of those hidden folders those folders will be kind of lighter than the regular photo folders and that's how you'll be able to tell they're hidden so that um, you want to be careful about making changes within those lighter ones you can always take this back off later if you're uncomfortable with showing those folders. And so now we're going to go back to the tutorial. And basics about actions, the .atn extension are those that indicate actions. And you can see some of them here in this folder. Not all actions work in Photoshop Elements. Um, you need to download or get those that specifically say they were made for your version of Photoshop Elements. Um, if the action was created with uh, something that isn't with the ability of um, Photoshop Elements, uh, the action won't work. Um, actions are created in the full version. Um, actions need to be put into the Dolby folders to work. And let's see, I give you a couple here that um, are very popular with digital scrapbookers. We're going to skip by the instructions for 3 and 4 and go straight to um, 6 and 7. Uh, these actions require a .png file rather than a .psd file. So if you've downloaded an older action that came with a .psd file, you can still use it. Just open it up in Photoshop Elements and do a Save As, and you may have to uncheck this uh, as a copy. Uh, because that will put the word copy in the name of your file. But your goal is to name this new PNG file exactly the same as the action file, or it will not work. If you, re if you just do a save as and it sticks that word copy in there, you can even just go back later and de manually delete the word copy. They just have to be named exactly. So open up the PSD file, rename it, uh, resave it as a ping file and uh, utilize that instead. Place both the ATN file and the .png file, um, known as a, a ping file, in the appropriate folder. And that is uh, this folder that I have 
here. And I've given you the paths right there in the tutorial. And um, you'll see I have an atomic cupcake chrome and a colored chrome right here. Let's sort these by name. And then I also have the uh, PNG files in here. And um, as in earlier versions, uh, where you could put them in subfolders, you cannot do that in version 6 and 7. They have to go right here in this main file together. But I want to show you something about my tutorial um, to, that may help you. I have left this tutorial so that you can copy it. I have not uh, protected it so that it, it cannot be copied in PDF. And what you can do is actually highlight this path. If you have trouble following paths and finding them um, from the instructions that are giving out there, go ahead and highlight this path, right click, and choose copy. Then go under my computer, and when you, let me make this a little smaller, so you can see it. And when you get into here, this is just opened up under my computer, click up here in the top bar, right click, and choose paste. Click the arrow to go, and it goes right to the necessary folder. And so if you have trouble navigating, you can always utilize uh, that trick by having this tutorial handy. And as it says here, do not put into subfolders, and then you're going to restart Photoshop Elements. And here I have it already open. I didn't want to take the time to actually uh, restart this um, throughout the tutorial. And so now you can find the action under this third icon and you m may have to choose show all. The reason mine are showing here is because I have used an XML file that's going to be in another uh, video. I'm going to choose all and you'll find them there, underneath there, and you can click on them and run them. As indicated in the tutorial, you may delete these two files I've never really had to delete the thumbs one myself, but the media database .db3 file I have had to delete. So if you have problems, if the, the program comes up and it errors, you can go in to these places and actually don't be afraid, just delete that file and restart Photoshop Elements and it will take a while, maybe even up to 15 minutes, and this file will be regenerated, it'll be rebuilt, and um, it should fix uh, your problems. Now, in the next uh, part of the tutorial, you can, in Photoshop Elements, install these actions in two areas. You can also install them in the guided area. And I'm going to review that in the next tutorial because this one's getting a little bit long.